All right, guys. Um, had a couple questions about collar sleeve, so I'm gonna run through a video here where I show you my approach to collar sleeve, um, and then how to work through a little bit of a system so that every time they they present um, a defense to one of your attacks, um, you can kind of flow into something else uh, and more opportunities that they're gonna give you from here. Um, I think this is probably the first open guard people should learn, uh, but I also think that it's the first open guard that people abandon in favor of other open guards. And I think that's a mistake um, because there's a lot of cool stuff and fun stuff that we can do from here. So um, we're gonna start from pulling the position, why I pull the way I do, um, and how to kind of trick our opponents into the game that we want, okay? So um, we're gonna start with pulling uh, the collar sleeve. Now, I actually fake a Delahibo pull going into the collar sleeve. Um, and I, it doesn't really matter if they know you're going to fake the Delahibo pull. Um, what matters is that they're forced to react because if they don't, um, the consequences for not reacting appropriately to the Delahibo can, uh, can end up in a bad position as well. So uh, I start with a cross collar grip and uh, I like a pocket grip on the sleeve for my collar sleeve. Uh, and now the goal for me is to occupy the space between his elbow and his knee. And otherwise, I want to get, in other words, sorry, I want to get my hips into uh, underneath his shoulder. So if I do nothing, okay, I'm going to place my foot on the hip on the side that I'm holding the sleeve. I lean out this way. And then if I do everything correctly, I can kick off this grip and I can shoot this in between here, okay? Now, in order to do this, I want to try to bait as much space in here as possible and I want to try to prevent him from just being able to step around my guard. Um, so, what I do from here is I fake the Delahiva. How I fake the Delahiva, it has very little to do with how high you raise your foot, and it has a lot more to do with um, the pressure you give on his lapel and the elevation of your hips. Okay? So, if I do this, there's no indication that I'm, I'm actually sitting my weight back. So, what I do is I'm heavy on the collar, and I sink my hips down as that foot comes up. Okay, this gives him the impression that I'm going to be sitting back for the technique. Okay, fake here, and then I do a little side step, place my foot on the hip as a wedge. I'm pulling on that collar so that I can place my foot on the uh, bicep and then square up here, right? Hips always off the mat. Now, option number one, if I can occupy the space between his knee and his elbow, okay, I'm already going to enter into either my triangles. Um, I can do kind of like a shotgun arm bar here, uh, or I can start to lift and punch for my omoplatas, okay? And those are our first attack sequences from here that we can start to work. Now, um, I would say the most common thing that they're gonna do from here uh, is either try to pull you back, right? If Kel starts to walk back, I have to make sure that my hips are off and then my, uh, my grips are heavy, okay? Because that's gonna constantly draw him in towards me. If Cal goes knee to elbow, okay? I can lift my hips and I can use this to start working into a tight, Delahiva position where I can go uh, for my sweeps and my attacks from here. I like this Delahiva because his posture will be broken. That will be much easier for me to engage with my sweeps once I get to this position. Okay. So, we've pulled guard. We're here. Your partner on top, very unlikely they're going to stay here. They're going to go knee to elbow. And if they're having a hard time okay, uh, with your position, and they feel like they're going to be off balance, they don't want to sacrifice the Delahiva position, I find that most often they'll go down in the combat base. Now, um, we'll go combat base where you're, you're taking away this space here, so set up over top your heel. Okay. So, once he's in the combat base here, this is where we run into a lot of our problems. Callum's doing the correct thing by keeping his elbow on the inside of his knee. If your partner's elbow's on the outside of their knee for whatever reason, you're going to kick this leg straight, you're going to pull on the collar, and you're going to punch his sleeve so that you can start to bring that knee over top of the shoulder and then you can start to engage the omoplata attacks from here, okay? So that should be an automatic cue. Whenever your partner's elbow is on the outside of their knee, you pull the collar, you punch the, punch the sleeve, and you pull your knee up into the shoulder to begin attacking the omoplata. Now, if Callum goes back to doing the correct thing, I find this is where we freeze up a lot, okay? I don't have any space for the Delahiva. Um, it's hard for me to move from here. I don't have the triangles. He's got good passing position. So, mostly, the partner on top is going to be gripping the pants, okay? They're going to want to start engaging with, uh, with their passes. I'm going to prioritize the collar grip. I'm going to move my hips over to the side, switch my hand on the collar, and then I'm going to draw my knee to my chest so I can get this far sleeve. From here, I shrimp out, I take my shoelaces here, and I place it in front of my partner's shoelaces here, okay? Um, I know Don Bell calls this the tarantula guard. I learned this a long time ago. 
um, from, a, from a black belt named Dave. Uh, and this is a really, really annoying position for a person on, on top. Now, person on top, okay, uh, first thing that they can do is just disengage. So Cal just disengages, let's say he goes to stand back up, okay? If he stands back up from here, guys, I'm just gonna replace my foot on the hip, okay? I can come back to collar sleeve, and I'm just on the other side, okay? If he comes back down, and he wants to play from this position, okay? And we're here, we have a few options. If Talon drives forward, okay, I'm gonna bite this down, I'm gonna kinda of let this leg loose, give him the illusion of passing. As he drives forward, I'm gonna bite down with my foot, I'm gonna kick out his other leg, and then that leg comes over top of the shoulder, okay? My bottom foot extends to the side of his neck, and I curl so I can bring him to the far side and start to engage my triangle. So if they're here, Right, elbow goes on the inside, I'm having a hard time, I'm going to switch my grip on the collar, I'm going to shrimp out to the side and pull my knee in so I can reach that far sleeve. So I'm going to take this one. Once I got that far sleeve, this foot's going to come, shin to shin, okay? Now, uh, if he drives forward, boom, I bite down, I kick this leg out, the foot that I used to kick out curls over top so that I can switch off and then start to engage that triangle. Now, if we come back to tarantula guard, okay, and we're here, what happens if he starts to lean his weight back? A lot of the time when they lean their weight back, they open up a little bit of space for the delegiva. So I'm gonna go reverse, or sorry, feed a deep delegiva hook. I'm gonna sit up and cross on the far leg. Now from here, even if Calvin is still on his back knee, well, I'll have this sleeve, okay? I don't like going deep delegiva unless I have at least one sleeve to help prevent the knee bar attacks. From here, I can grab both sleeves, twist over, and then enter my sweep, uh, sweeping sequence from there. Last option, okay, last option for now, is we're going to be here, if he drops down to the combat base, I switch off the tarantula guard, boom, I'm, sh I'm, I'm shoelace to shoelace, okay, but he's not engaging, I can't, I, I, I don't find the space for Belakiva, he's not going forward, from here I'm going to remove the collar grip, I'm going to grab the sleeve, I now I'm gonna go on my side, scissor sweep from the spider guard position, so I can start coming up to the top here. Now from here we're gonna to have to be wary about the single leg X, but that's part and parcel of doing scissor sweep from all positions. Okay guys. So again from the top, cross collar grip, grip on the sleeve. I'm gonna do, uh, I like to fake the delegiva first to get his mind thinking about something else, and then I sidestep. Wedge in the hip, square up. Option number one, if he's allowing that space between the elbow, I shoot up, I engage my triangles, my own plotters, my straight arm bars. If he starts walking back, well, I'm gonna pull my hips in, make sure I stay underneath. If you're able to get some elbow distance from the knee, you might be able to shoot on a plotter from here. If he goes knee to elbow and he sits down in combat base, now is where we're gonna have to adjust, okay? If his elbow's on the outside of his knee, I drop that knee, I pull in the collar, and I punch the sleeve. Okay? I use that angle to start putting weight on the shoulder and attacking the normal plata. If the elbow's on the inside of the knee, I'm going to switch to what's known as tarantula guard. I double up on the lapel so that I can pull my knee to my chest and grab spider grip on the far side. Okay, let's rotate this way so that they can see. So we're here. Okay? I prioritize the lapel by doubling up and then I pull my knee to my chest so I can grab the collar, or the sleeve, sorry. And then I shrimp out and I go shoelace to shoelace on this leg. If he drives forward, I kick out that leg, weight over the back, trade off to my triangle choke. If we go back to tarantula, sometimes he moves this knee backwards, right, to keep his weight back. If he opens up that space, I shoot a deep delicate hook, cross, X on the far side. From here, I have my options, double sleeve to twist them one way or the other. Um, Callan himself likes to use this opportunity to start switching over to crab right towards the back. Both options are really good. Last step, okay, let's go to this side. We end up in that tarantula guard position. Right, uh, we're here. I'm unable to get deep delegiva. I'm not, he's not driving forward pressure towards me. So from here, I'm just gonna grab the sleeve. I'm gonna go up on my side. I use the momentum to knock him over with the spider guard variation of the scissor sweep, or I can start working up into a top position. 
Remember guys that whenever you're uh, working from an open guard, you need to find ways to connect your open guard systems together. Uh, Deli Kiva and Deep Deli Kiva tie in perfectly with the, uh, with the collar sleeve. So make sure you're finding ways to enter uh, your Deli Kiva systems and your collar sleeve systems uh, so that you can trade back and forth, constantly keeping your opponent guessing uh, for your guard attacks. Thank you.